Hello, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing a wee Chinese mukbang. How exciting. This took about pff, nearly an hour to come. Ridiculous. I really should have just went and got it, but I thought if I get it delivered, then I can like set up. But it literally is like a three minute drive from my house. Um, this is from Casa Dawson Chinese. If you know, you know. Oh, but I had to get it myself tonight. How boring. Um, Usually anytime I get to me, like I'm sharing with someone. Sorry, this is like really good noise. So I get like stuff and then we all like share. But I have to get it myself and I sorry, where's the rest? Um I got half noodles, half fried rice, a portion of salt and pepper chips, but like where's literally the rest? And then a large tub of curry, so I'm gonna get this on the plate and then I'll be back. Right, we're back. So I'm actually like raging, like they really didn't put like anything in that one chai chips, like because I was like, I'm gonna have the full portion of the rice and the noodles, and then just like take half the salt and chip, but I ended up doing the whole thing. Um, they definitely give me more noodles and rice, which I'm okay with, but I would prefer to eat more rice. No, I'm so hungry. Um. I'm doing a weekend vlog this weekend too, so you should be able to see what else I had today, but it really wasn't that much. I was, wasn't planning to get anything tonight. Um, it's Friday night. I usually never really get takeouts on like a Friday. I don't know why, I just never really do. Um, but I was going to make me and my daddy pasta bake. And then when we came up, I was like, oh, I've got potatoes here, do you want me to make them into wedges? I was like, no, I'm trying to make them pasta bake. She goes, no, I'm making your daddy a steak. So he just touched me for an hour. So I didn't have a backup plan and you can't make pass make one person. So I will make pass it next week. But then I was just sitting there because at the start of the week I was like, I'll do my plan. But then I was like, it was kind of hard because I usually only get Chinese with other people and then you don't want to be like really like antisocial and like get a Chinese and then like take it into the next room and eat it, do you know what I'm sorry about? Mm. Do you know bang? But, so I said, oh I'll get one myself on Friday night. And I was like, I'm not getting the Chinese on Friday night, like what do you mean? And then I'm like, I never know what to get when it's just me because as I say, I usually get like full portions of all these things and like share it. And I just thought, this is a sign. Whenever your mommy said that to me, I was like, also, I hate the jellies, I always take them out. Whenever mommy said that to me, I was like, this is literally a sign. And I was like, frick it. I'm going to get a Chinese. Oh my god, this is lethal. But yeah, then as well, I was like, because I've been to the gym every day this week, and I'm going tomorrow morning, so I'd have been to like six gym sessions this week, and like, well, and I was like, I don't want to get Chinese and like ruin it, but is it like, you can either look at it two ways, okay, I've been to the gym this week, I deserve it, or you could be like, Jesus, Aoife, you've been to the gym all this week and you're eating Chinese, so, whatever way you want to look at it. But um, my body's in agony this week. Oh my god! Not like my muscles are harder, so I just like I'm so tired. Like I feel like exhausted. Um, and I wouldn't like I don't plan on doing six days a week. But I was doing like the five, and then there's like a workout tomorrow in the gym I go to. It's like a team workout, like a free one. So we're all just gonna go. Did you see that? You're like I can't give you any. Like unless you like salt and chili chips or noodles and curry sauce, I can't give you any. Um, but 
I'm dropping like a team more graduate. You're in teams of three and I don't know about anyone else, but like I'm I'm like the least competitive person ever. Like just because like see when it comes to the gym tier, I'm just like so shit. Like I know I'm not gonna win, so like why would I why do I care if I do, you know that sort of way. But I think I'm in a team with one and Gavin and they are competitive. Gavin is probably the most competitive person I've ever met in my life. And I know right they're gonna be raging at me because I'm gonna be pure shit. And it's so annoying because like, I feel like if I had came home straight from ballet, I'd have been like good enough in the gym, like fitness wise. Because I was also doing those types of workouts literally every day. Um, but then I literally basically didn't train for two months. Like I went to the gym. Like here and there. But like, you know what I mean? I wasn't doing anything that I was like, pure out of breath like uh, spike stop it seriously like i obviously would stop myself because there was no one there to like tell me not to but what was i saying okay well i come back to the gym i come back to the gym and oh my god did i get a shock so unfit literally so unfit it's actually embarrassing but only Gavin's so fit, like they're always pure fast, you never have like same we're doing so at the gym, like finishers, Anya is fully always a round ahead of me, like like she beat me like a full round. So I'm in there team Laura. Shut myself up. This is a great pair of either. Or is it? This could be carving me up. Oh well. Oh my god. Can I be I'm eating the full salt and I just have my my mic ever stuff. Sorry, there's something left. Um uh. I also got a full like a large curry, there was absolutely no need for that for one person. And you're watching my fangs. Do you like when someone like say does like a Q and A or like talks about one specific topic, or do you just rather than like just kind of sit and chat about shit? Like, do you know what I mean? Have no real. Big thing to talk about. It's like something seriously. I, I personally like both. Like, there's some people I like, and they just literally sit and talk about nothing. Like, they're just eating whatever. Whatever comes in mind, which is what I'm doing now. But then I also I love a Q and A. Anyone else? I will watch anyone's Q and A. Anyone? I think it's just because I'm nosy, like. But isn't everyone a wee bit? Like I love like no one stuff about the. Oh, am I? I don't have time to make this a Q and A or like topics or anything. Anyway, I literally decided to do this. At four o'clock. Um, but then sometimes my friend, I took like a Q&A, it's a bit too serious because you're like answering questions and all like, whereas this is a bit casual. Oh my god. I made a TikTok of my Chinese. <clears throat> I think I got a Chinese like the day after I came home, me and Oni got one. Um, and Anya doesn't like eggs, right? So she doesn't get egg fried rice, she just gets like normal. Oh my god, my camera's flashing, you have to be joking. So, we had to get boiled rice, right? And I made this TikTok, like, plate my Chinese with me. Oh my god. I got so much hate. That's not Chinese. That's so bland. Oh my god, white rice. This is disgusting. Right? Mm. One thing about TikTok is people like see TikToks and I don't think they realise it's like someone like making that TikTok. Like you can't even see them like and you'll just send it to someone or you'll comment under it and don't realise that people are actually reading that stuff. That's one thing about TikTok is like like on Instagram, people don't like slide you underneath your Instagram photo, but like on TikTok they will slide me underneath that TikTok video. Yeah. 
I don't really care. But yeah, if you want me to do like mukbangs that are dedicated to like a topic or a q and I can put up a Q&A. Oh. On my Instagram or, I don't know, can you do like stuff on here where you ask people to ask you questions because I hate Instagram. Uh. Oh, i here. Oh, and you said he wasn't coming over to seven. I need to hurry up and go see my nephew. Um, and also, if there's any specific, I'm going to go. Gavin, if there's any specific um, places you want to see my friend from, look at my prep for the bar. Disgraceful. I said you're going to be raging at me in the morning. Well, I'll let you know if we won or not. No hobby. I didn't know you were going to come over to seven. Extra cows. That's my bad. It should be me bulking. Carving up. Well, you need to burn the cows in the morning. Quick. I'm fucking burnt them up this week. I've been every single day this week. Doesn't matter. Because you're now in a competition, so I can't come second. Right. But yeah, any places you want me to do my fangs. There's not really that many places you can eat right here. Like, realistically, you have Chinese pizza, chippe. I suppose you go like Nando's, McDonald's. Burger King. I mean, even on Burger King video. Right. When was that? I don't know. The summer or something? We got deadly vegan burgers. They were actually lethal. Maybe I could do that. I help my bed a lot. Back here. We yes, actually can. Absolutely believe I had a lot. Mommy's gonna call me. They don't need burning tips. Sorry. Always an empty plate when I'm around. Can anyone else like I literally can't leave food in my plate. Like I genuinely like I will make myself sick before I leave food in the plate. I think because I was always taught when younger, like you can't get up unless you eat all that food. And that's what I do now. So that's my issue. So thanks my and daddy for not letting me off the table. But yeah. If you enjoyed this my plan, please let me know. Very last minute, just was getting a chinese, so I thought I'd do my fun. So, yeah, I'll see you in my next video, which will be a wee weekend vlog again. Bye.